It was really cool to see how emotional he was, too. I mean, with everything he's been through, yeah. big moment for everybody, but I thought he was going to go, I he would go early. I thought he was going to go in the fourth round. I thought the Jets would have to use a fourth-round draft pick for him. Yeah. Um, he's an outstanding player. I, I was a big fan. I'm sorry, Connor. No, no. I mean, I agree with you, Bart. You look at what how his career should have ended, right? Without the injury, Florida State ends up in the college football playoff. It's not a lock that Florida State, you know, doesn't, Win and make win a championship, yeah. win the whole thing. I mean, look at all the guys that were drafted in the NFL the last McCarthy. couple of years. He would have been a McCarthy. He would have had the McCarthy vibe. Right. So, Jordan Travis, when you look at him, I mean, four-year starter, took care of the football, love. touch thrower, smart guy, leader. And I think this is the thing the Jets really liked, where they went with him over a guy maybe like Michael Pratt from Tulane. They like the mobility, guys. Seven rushing touchdowns four years in a row. Every single year, this guy was a lock to give you seven touchdowns on the ground. And he's not looking to run for 100 yards a game. He's looking to be smart with this running. Roll out of the pocket. Keep your eyes downfield. Make a throw. Oh, I have 10 free yards for a first down. Let me take it. His teammates love him. He's a hard worker. And listen, I know everybody's talking about a young quarterback getting to be in the same room as Aaron Rodgers, and I get it. Aaron Rodgers is focused on some important things right now. The perfect guy for Jordan Travis to be around for his career tra uh, trajectory is Tyrod Taylor, mm. where some of their skill set is very, very similar, and he can learn from Tyrod how to sit, wait, get healthy, and eventually get your shot, and I think he will in a couple years. Yeah, I fell in love with him when he played Pittsburgh. In that fourth quarter, he went bonkers, right? He, he's like enough playing around. Clutch gene. He just, he just put the game on his back, and he, went, he actually won the game from. But I think moving forward, you talk about a young kid that can pretty much do it all with his feet and his arms. And what I love about him, when you watch him on tape, he's fiery, man. Most of the guys fall asleep out there, but he's the guy pounding his chest, screaming, yelling. He has, he's the total package. So I love him from that standpoint, man. Hopefully he can get it done in New York. I mean, the one knock on him when people would talk about his arm strength, you know what I mean? I think arm strength can be developed to a certain point, but I, I'm more concerned and I look more for accuracy when you talk about a quarterback. Mm -hmm. And you talk about a guy who's played four years, played a lot of football. And that's what, when you think about all the guys that come in the league that struggle, whether it was Zach Wilson, whether it was Mark Sanchez, they didn't have a lot of reps in being able to see multiple defenses. This guy got to see a lot of play against a lot of tough competition. He excelled at it. You know, why can't he be, you know, our version of Dak Prescott, a guy that comes sure. in, you know, maybe yeah. learns from the guys and in two years be ready to go because he's going to learn how to be a professional. He's going to learn anticipation. If things go well, then this offense, you know, may change a little bit because I think when Aaron leaves, maybe, he's you the know, Hackett, Hackett's going as well. Right. But, you know, he can learn the game. He can learn the concepts. And then now he's hitting, the, he's hitting it, you know, coming in and giving us a splash. That's how Tyrod started in Baltimore. Tyrod started getting splash plays when Flacco was hurt, coming in, playing. And then he was able to get his opportunity as a starter in Buffalo. Why not here? Why not now? And I thought it was a very smart pick. And I've been standing on this table for this guy for at least yeah, three like to four months on my radio show every day saying this is the guy that you should get because it's an opportunity because you're getting max value because it's not that he's a fifth-round draft pick. Got that, that the injury yep. made him fall, and other people wanted to address other needs because they needed a quarterback that couldn't sit for two years.